most uh, small for gestational age infants are born in India and in South Asia. You must have strategies to feed those infants, in particular those who are below 2,000 grams. What are you doing in your unit? You have a lot. I have visited your unit and I remember all these infants need special attention and need special nutrition. Yeah. Uh, we sort of um, classify them into um, small for gestational age babies who are born at term gestation and babies who are born at preterm gestation. So um, babies who are born uh, at preterm gestation, if they are less than 32 weeks or they are 1500 grams, uh, irrespective whether they are growth restricted or they are not growth restricted, we use aggressive nutrition policy. We provide PN where it is needed. We start early entry nutrition and we do fortify human milk. So uh, 32 weeks is the cutoff? It's the cutoff which we use. Uh, in our unit because mm -hmm. the Indian guidelines do not um, support the universal usage of uh, fortification uh, only in babies less than 32 weeks if they are not growing. So what are you doing in terms of enteral nutrition? Uh, in terms of enteral nutrition we try to get express breast milk as soon as possible so we do a lot of counseling of the mothers but in 100% of the babies we do not get. So if they are babies less than 28 weeks, then we do um, restrict the feeds, uh, enteral, and start them on um, parental. Uh, but if we get PN, we start them on early uh, enteral nutrition and try to step them up according to our unit protocols. What kind of fortification are you yes. using in, in India? Uh, we have a hu uh, human milk fortifier available in the country which has been, uh, it's a bovine uh, powder fortifier which has been available for last more than a decade. Um, it's not a very good uh, fortifier in the sense that the protein content is much lower as compared to the internationally available fortifier. It's just one fourth of what is in the international fortifiers. But we've been using, nevertheless, we've been using that fortifier and many other units in the country are also using. Very recently, another fortifier has come which claims to have higher protein uh, and better uh, uh, composition, but yet there is no data available, no studies available on the usage of this. Present. But uh, what are the Indian key opinion leaders in this field? Uh, telling the government, if you need more protein in the fortifier, it must be possible. Yes. It's a um, long process, I understand, but yes. there I must be some... The restrictions are mainly because there is a group which feels that uh, up till now, the studies on fortification only show short-term benefits and not long-term benefits. And fortification involves uh, money, involves uh, some mixing, which uh, may be fraught with the uh, um, contamination in busy large units and uh, because of those cons constraints or those reservations, they still do not um, provide guidelines for universal fortification. But Unfortunately, WHO also um, supports the same. So. I, I guess some data from India which supports long-term uh, uh, effect on the long-term uh, growth might change the thinking trend. But your p personal point of view, we have discussed uh, during this workshop the brain outcome. This is long-term effects. Uh, would you agree with this, that there's a benefit on uh, brain, uh, on cognitive performance? If I was not, if I was not in agreement, uh, we wouldn't be using <laughs> fortification in our unit. You know, there are many uh, who feel that, you know, anything to uh, improve the neurological outcome, the neurocognitive outcome. And, you know, we have double jeopardy, we have preterms with IUGR. 
uh, close to 30-40% of our preterm babies are growth restricted also. Mm. So they're already born with intrauterine uh, growth restriction and protein and calorie deprivation. So for their optimum brain growth, probably they need much higher protein intake. Do all infants born in India in hospital have access to fortified uh, breast milk? Uh, I think India is changing and the number of uh, uh, intensive care units are increasing. Number of units which are ventilating, providing surfactant, CPAP mm -hmm. and other modalities. Then why not think about nutrition? I think it's a little cost. Okay. If we can uh, bargain for better brain, better neurocognitive growth. Um, yes, I think. Thank you. Justify. Thank you very much. Yeah.